Hi guys! Are you looking to power up multiple IP devices without the hassle of many power cables or adapter? Now look no further than the A02.3 BTPoE++ switch. It is the ultimate solution for installing multiple high power devices with ease and efficiency. Today in this video, I'm going to install a high power PDZ camera and a high power wireless access point using the PoE++ switch. So you can say goodbye to the clutter of wires and have a streamlined and hassle-free setup. And if you have any trouble with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below and we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you for completely free of charge. So the PDZ camera is capable of panning, tilting, and zooming to capture and monitor wide area with precision. And high power wireless access point are specifically designed to enhance the signal strength. And those two devices are essential components in the civilian and wireless networking. And they can provide advanced capability enhance coverage and improve performances and it is catering to the diverse need of various industrial and application so now let's move on to the demonstration board and i'll show you the setup for today And as you can see, I already have the PTZ camera and the wireless access point stick onto the wall. And now I'm going to use the A02.3 BTPoE++ switch to connect with those high power PoE enabled devices. And using this switch can provide several advantages. Since it is using a PoE technology, it can power a broad range of devices along with data through a single Ethernet cable and again eliminating the need for a separate power unit and also ensure the reliable power delivered to the critical network devices and this switch can serve up to 90 watts sufficient power and gigabit network for supplying different IP devices in convenient way it has 180 watts of total power budget and for each port it can deliver up to 90 watts of power maximum and also featuring a compact size so you can see it takes really less space and without saying let's do the connection together so here we have the monitor the router and an nvr and first, let us use a short patch cord to connect our router with the NVR. And the images will show up later on after we connect it with the PDZ camera. And then I'm going to use an other Ethernet cable to connect our main network data with our PoE++ switch. So you can see we have four PoE ports available and this is the uplink port. Let me plug it in here and let's turn to the back. We have the DC adapter and let's power it up. This is the power set for our PoE++ switch. And since it's built separately, so it won't overheat. And this is a BT standard PoE switch and it can send up to 90 watts of power because it uses up all four twisted pairs of the wires in the Ethernet cable, while AF and AT standard are only using two twisted pair. And now I'm going to connect two Ethernet cable with our PoE++ switch for the two devices. So let's plug it in first. And Let's use it to plug it with our PTZ camera and it should get power and data pretty soon. And also our wireless SS point here is also working. And you can see there's no separate power set for those devices. And the image is already up on the monitor and I'm going to wave my hand to show it's a live video, so the whole setup is done. 
So if you're doing a PoE connection, make sure you choose a pure copper cable like the Cat5e or Cat6 because pure copper has superior conductivity compared to other materials. So it can provide stable power delivery. And also PoE has a distance limitation of 100 meter. So if you have to connect device that's over 100 meter, I recommend you to use a PoE extender so you can extend the distance for another 100 meter. Also, this is a video on how to install high power IP devices over 100 meter using the PoE switch. And we love hearing from your feedback and idea. Feel free to leave a comment below and let us know what you want to know more of on our channel. And thank you for watching us.